Okay, today we're gonna to talk about the most complete family of hybrids that Callaway Golf has ever made, the Rogue ST family of hybrids. There's four models, we have three of them here. We're gonna explain exactly what they do, who they're for, that's the question. Who, like, how do you separate hybrids? Well, I'm gonna show you. Let's hit some balls, see what these things do in the air. Let's get into it. Welcome to the world of wonder. Let the games begin. Oh, this thing's awesome. It's actually a lot of fun to hit. This is Mr. Phil Mickelson. Phil, it's nice to meet you. I know a lot about your bag. How much do you know about your own? Not as much as you. Hey, that's a good reason to put an iron in your bag. There's so much that goes into it just in a golf club. Do you see that? All right, Jason. Look, I'm not a huge hybrid guy, but we got some good looking ones here. Okay, so let's start. We're gonna hit all of them. We're gonna start with the Rogue ST Max, which is like your middle ground Rogue ST hybrid. So explain to me what we should be looking for in this one. Obviously with a hybrid package like this, we're looking to pair it with the irons, hopefully increase the ball speed because most players are gonna replace their long irons with this. Right. In order to do that, we need to make it go high, far, and pretty straight. So this is a re-optimized speed frame package to help with off-center hitch, which helps with stability and helps with distance. So these are gapping clubs and they're distance clubs. So these got a bunch of jobs to do, right? Of course. Okay, so let's hit a couple with this one. So I have the Rogue ST Max 4 Hybrid, a Mitsubishi Tensei AV Series 75 gram shaft. Okay, so out of dress, I gotta say, people, they look good. They kind of they kind of look like a smaller Epic Super Hybrid. That was a big flare to the right, but you said something interesting about across the face. That was off like thin Healy. Mm -hmm and it's still hung on there. I could play that shot. For sure. I mean, that's it's definitely helping you out. Slight bit of draw bias built into this club, obviously from a lot of players that miss to the right. This would be a really good pairing if they're not missing too far to the right. Because with hybrids, typically players miss them out of the toe. So when you talk about the can. stable face, that was sort of combat potentially that, that miss out there, right? It, it is helping all the way across the face to maximize okay. the ball speed so that if you do miss it a little bit, you're not taking a huge yardage penalty. Got it. Like they get up, but they don't, I mean, it's not like. Sounded pretty solid with that one. They get up in the air. I mean, but it's not like crazy high, like, cause you don't, with a hybrid, you want a sort of a penetrating trajectory. You want right? it to fly like what you would think a four iron or a three iron ideally would fly like. So we need it to still get up, but not look like a nine iron when it's flying. Right, okay. See, I like, okay, so this is why I like these things. Once again, it's thin a little bit out of the heel, that ball's in front of me. Most definitely. That ball's in front of me. So how much did I lose like ball speed and all that kind of stuff with that with a shot like that? Ball speed only a couple miles an hour. Okay. Uh, and you said that was slightly low, slightly in the heel, right? Yep. Just similar to a shot previously. So a couple miles an hour ball speed, maybe five yards of distance, but you know, all things told it, at you know a couple hundred yards, that five yards isn't hurting you a whole lot. And I'm not spiking up in spin either, because typically that's a shot that the spin's gonna go way that's up, right? That's correct. Only a couple hundred more cycles of backspin relative to the center impact that we saw a second ago. Okay, so we're done with this one, the Rogue ST Max. We're gonna move on to the, the oversize, the big cannon. This is the one we just hit, but like with some muscles on it. Yeah, this is gonna be for players looking for the ultimate forgiving hybrid, the the most ball speed and the easiest to launch. Okay, so this is just for the folks at home. This is a Rogue ST Max. This is a three hybrid, so it's a little stronger lofted than the one I was hitting. So once again, the shape, it looks amazing. It is a little bit more draw biased. So it's got, a, you, can, you can tell when you sit it down. It's got a very, it's very square to dress. And the other thing I liked about what they did with the shape of these things is, and you'll see this on the Pro, but it's got a little bit of camber in the sole, so it's, it's, it, it will get into the ground for the players that are a little steeper that want to get it in. This will actually glide through the turf pretty well. That one launches a little higher than the other one. Definitely launched a little bit higher and, uh, and flew a little bit further as well. Obviously, it's a little stronger than the first one. Right. Love that right there. Yeah. And I'm barely swinging at it too. I mean, that's, it's getting up in the air. It's got some speed on it. It's it interesting more? enough for this particular model, it's actually launching close to 13 degrees. So it's actually the mass properties of the club are helping the ball get into the air even faster than we saw with the Rogue ST Max. So the technology is more or less kicking in. That's correct. Okay. Once again, straight up in the air. It's got some steam on it. Love that. Okay, Great this ball. one's interesting. Cause I didn't hit, I mean, I, 
I didn't hit really any of them like out of the nuts, but they flew like a center strike would. Yeah, it's the ultimate package when it comes to forgiveness. Okay, so let's get onto the, we're gonna get onto the Ferrari here. Let's go to the Rogue ST Pro. So that was Rogue ST Max Oversize. And once again, I mentioned there is a light version of the Rogue ST Max OS, but you can do the math on that one. It's light, so it's lighter for people looking for some swing speed. So now let's get into the Rogue ST Pro. And there's a couple of cool features about this one that I really, really like. So with this particular package, it's designed for a totally different player type, right? right. You can see that in the shaping right off the bat, but yep. in, in also the way that it's designed, it's going to be the least straw bast out of all three of them. Okay. It's going to maintain quite a bit of more spin. And the whole idea is control, right? For this player in particular, they're not worried as much about the off center, right? Getting the ball there. They want to be able to make sure they can hit the shot they want to hit, potentially work it a little bit, right? and then also hit the green with quite a bit of spin. This is a, this is a pure gapping club. That's correct. Okay. So Rogue ST, it's got a Tensei AV series, uh, Tensei White, which is a lower spin profile. Um, okay, really quickly, I gotta point this out. So this one actually has a pretty pronounced camber in the sole, which is basically, with a club like this, you wanna hit down on it. You actually wanna try and take a divot and compress it with a, with a hybrid like this. So they give you a little bit of a rudder down here to help it get through the rough. So our players like on tour, like John Rom, they love a club with this shape on the bottom because they can hit down on it, beat down on it, club glides through the turf. That's a, that's a serious performance feature in my, in my opinion. This is like the classic player's hybrid shape. Love that, great ball. So it's a, flying a little bit lower than the, than the other ones, which it should. Definitely has a more penetrating ball flight. Kind of what you were saying is a lot of players, they're looking for an, something to replace the long iron, but they may not want a five wood, which may fly a little too high for them. Right. Pretty forgiving, like. Definitely. That's like a little, I mean, I'm not, I'm not striping it right now, but we'll I see. haven't hit a shot that's like, oh my God, that's unplayable. Like every shot that I've hit with all these hybrids, I could play out on the golf course. I don't feel like I'm losing like 30 yards if I miss hit it. Similar to the Rogue ST Pro Iron, it's going to have the same core technologies, right. but again, more sensitive for the player. Right. Let's hit one off the tee, just see what they- For sure, what they a lot kinda... of players like to see that as a positional shot. Right. So for me, this is a three, three hybrid. So this one would be like a two, it's 19 degrees off, 220 club. Sure. Right, like in that area? Definitely. Maybe 225. Big high draw. Nice, great ball there. Wow, either, okay, let's hit one more. That was, that, that was actually kind of fun. <laughs> and that actually went out, uh, your total got out to about 233, so finished off. That's a really good position right there. That's good, okay. Yeah. I gotta say something. I love how these things spin. All of them. Mm -hmm. They still have spin on them. I don't, I don't feel like I'm getting those knucklers out in the air, right? They kind of they kind of hold their integrity Correct. for a long time. With some hybrids, you know, if you if you miss hit them, like the, the spin will dip or or, or uh, spike up, and then you kind of the ball's out of your hand, right? Correct. Yeah, player, especially for this player type, you're looking for control. Spin is the biggest component of that to be able to hold integrity during the flight right and then land softly whether it be landing it in the fairway to position it or landing it into a green on maybe a longer par three so we got rogue st max who's it for scratch to 20 handicapper anybody looking for a gapping club with some forgiveness and some speed maybe a t club in the in the three hybrid version to replace like a three or a four iron that's who this one's for rogue st max oversize more forgiving, more launch, I think goes straight up in the air, speed, distance, all that kind of stuff. So it's for, I would say, you know, your 10 plus handicapper, somebody looking for a little help to get the ball in the air. This would be a great club for my Uncle Rob or my old man. Then you have the Rogue ST Pro, which is for players like myself, somebody like Jason. In my opinion, it's a pure gapping club. It's that true, honest replacement for a three iron or a four iron. That's what this club is. If you want any more information, go to CallawayGolf.com, World of Wonder website. Johnny Wonder signing off. Till next time.